Hey YouTube! Today I thought I'd show you a couple of digital art pieces that I recorded a while back. I pieced them all together because they weren't really long enough to make an entire video on their own. So I just made a quick time lapse of each of them and I thought I'd share them with you. This first piece I started working on in Photoshop CS6 and I also used my Wacom Intuos 3, I believe. I started sketching out with a softer brush. Um, I usually just use the preset brushes that come with Photoshop. And I just lowered the, the flow and sketched over a tan or grayish background. Once I'm happy with the sketch, I add a new layer and start going over it with a harder round brush. I ended up changing the pose for this drawing. I'm not sure why, but I actually really like how it looked beforehand, so maybe I'll redo this piece one day. <laughs> but I thought I would just simplify it since I mostly wanted to just focus on her hair and the shape. So then I just add another layer underneath the inked lines and I start filling in the color. With pieces like this I just do flat color and overlay shadows and different tones and tints over it. It's a pretty simple and easy way to paint digitally. It's similar to cell. I guess people would call this like a cell shading style of coloring. I use opaque and translucent layers over the top to do highlights and everything else. One thing I should have changed is that I added a gradient over the top of the girl. And I think in the background too, since it was just a sketch, I used a gradient tool. But when you zoom in, you can see banding in the image, which is those weird lines in between each shade of the gradient. There's an easy fix to get rid of something like that by going into filters and playing with the noise settings. Now I'm just adding a few patches and details to her jacket and some tattoos on her neck. This was just a fun piece that I worked on as like a stress relief after packing orders all day. I believe the full thing took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to finish. The next three pieces I did on my boyfriend's iPad Pro. He has the 9 inch I believe and I used the Apple Pencil to draw with it. I also used the app Procreate to draw these and I really like it for sketching. I had a lot of fun drawing on it since I don't have like a monitor tablet that I usually draw on so it's pretty different for me. The app is pretty easy to use. It's really good for beginners and sketching while traveling, but I don't think I would replace my Wacom tablet for an iPad Pro, especially when it comes to finished work. I mean, I'm sure people can get really great looking finished work on the iPad Pro, but I prefer the Wacom tablet just because of the texture of the tablet the details it gets, the ability to use whatever program you want to use instead of the simplified apps on the iPad, and just the simple ed ability to edit your photos easily and transform items in Photoshop just makes it so much easier to use. Like I said, the iPad Pro is pretty awesome and I would love to have one to take while traveling or sketching in cafes and stuff like that, but I definitely would not use it for finished pieces or replace my Wacom tablet with it. I just decided to draw a couple of witches with attitude and um, like frustrated emotions on their faces. It's super rough. I didn't really want to 
go any further to finish it, but I kind of like how they turned out. This one is another witch, and she's kind of doing a, a, a pouty face. <laughs> Again, I use the same technique as I do in Photoshop for these pieces, I'm using a couple of different layers to do the sketch, the more finalized ink lines, and then the color underneath those. I also really liked the vertical format of drawing on the iPad Pro, but sadly when I recorded it, it stays vertical, so sadly we're going to have to watch it like this. <laughs> I decided to give this witch some long braids. Braids are so much fun to draw because they add a lot of detail and they're just really interesting looking. <laughs> I do like that the Procreate app has some pretty decent brushes in it that look a lot like traditional art. I can't really remember which brush I used for these drawings, but I feel like it was a charcoal one or something. And that's pretty much the only brush I used the whole time. There, for the shadows, I'm just adding a layer over the top of, I believe it was like a grayish color, and then I played with the opacity to make it look like a shadow. And the last step is always to add tattoos and details to decorate her. <laughs> Here's the finished piece. The next piece I did was probably the, was actually the first one I tried doing on the iPad Pro. I just wanted to draw a portrait. So I didn't really plan this out at all. It just became a girl looking to the side with kind of a V neck, a V shaped neckline. I think if I was going to buy an iPad Pro, I'd definitely buy the bigger one. I'm mostly used to drawing larger since I was initially trained in animation where they teach you to draw with your whole arm. So drawing on large 18 by 24 sheets of paper is my natural habitat. <laughs> it's also why most of my sketchbooks are at least 11 by 14, if not larger. In this drawing, I was playing a bit more with the brushes. 
again I'm not really sure exactly which ones I was using but I think I was playing mostly with the the ink brushes trying to imitate a Pentel brush pen they get kind of close but it's nothing like drawing traditionally <laughs> I added a few scribbles for shadows and then added a new layer to start coloring her in. I actually kind of prefer this style of drawing digitally. Most of the really rendered and smooth digital paintings kind of bore me a little bit. I like texture and sketchiness. I want to be able to see how the artist thought out the drawing and the looseness of the lines. I think that's why I usually end up leaving all of my sketch lines instead of erasing them. I know a lot of people complain about when I do that, but I like it. I think it looks pretty cool, so I do what I want. Alright, I hope you guys liked that little update and time-lapse videos. I just wanted to share them with you since I had them sitting around. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!